what? Well, I guess I have no choice. Yes, hello everyone, my name is Baxty B. You may remember me from such podcasts as Cameron F1's The Shakedown with Cameron and Shez, but I am here launching today my very own F1 channel. Now, you may have seen me before elsewhere. I do actually have a gaming channel, which I haven't used for nearly a year, but if you want to see what I have on that channel, and I'm probably going to start using it again as well, you can find the link to that in the description. Also, alongside the information for Cameron and Shez as well, two of people that I've I've become very close with over the last few weeks, uh, and I really wouldn't be here without their support um, because they are, have encouraged me to do this. So, to Cameron, Shez, thank you. Now... What am I actually going to talk about in this video, this introductory video to me, BaxDB? Well, that's exactly it. I'm going to talk a little bit about me, about my history with Formula One, and then I'm going to give you a slight outline on what I plan to do with the channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, who am I? Well, as I've said before, my name is BaxDB. And I started watching Formula One back in 2007. Yes, that was the same year that Lewis Hamilton started. Now, I had been watching, for, well, known of Formula One before 2007. For example, <clears throat> I knew who Michael Schumacher was. I knew who Mika Hakkinen was. I knew who Fernando Alonso was. Montoya, Raikkonen, Button. I knew who these guys were. But I really got into it when this young kid nobody had ever heard of got themselves going in Formula One um, when I say nobody had ever heard of I mean of course outside of the Formula One circles and I just got hooked ever since and I've enjoyed it and it's been an amazing ride um, yes Lewis is my favourite driver of all time um, and I make no apologies for that though I will assure you this will not be a Lewis Hamilton fanboy channel too much can't promise any more than that, I'm afraid. Um, but also, there is um, other drivers I like. I'll always support British drivers, so big fans of George Russell and Lando Norris. And I'll say my favourite non-British driver on the 23 grid is probably Valtteri Bottas, though I just want to say, Daniel Ricciardo, I love you, man. You are awesome, and I hope you get back into Formula 1 for 2024. But yeah, that's the kind of my my love for Formula One. Uh, my favourite team is Mercedes, and it, it isn't just because of Lewis, actually. Um, yes, I'm here with, with, with the gear. I am wearing the gear. Um, but I also, one of my favourite seasons is 2009, which I've got a whole video, which I'm going to do at some point on that. Um, and the Braun storyline. You know, Braun became Mercedes, and it became the team that we know today. And yeah, I... I it's why I love the team so much and Toto I think is just an amazing guy but yeah that's kind of my history of Formula One and um, why I love it so much uh, I love the, the the thrill the speed everything about it I mean there's nothing more intense for me than getting ready for a Grand Prix start honestly it's one of the most thrilling experiences you could ever f feel even through the television it's just your heart you, you can feel the tension and, and it's amazing it's absolutely amazing so what can you expect from the channel? Well, my focus is going to be on the stories and the narratives that you can find in Formula One. I'm not here to talk technical data with you. That's not my strong suit. I mean, it would be something along the lines of uh, front wing makes car go vroom vroom. That's the extent, I mean, that's the extent of my, my ability to really talk technical with you. Um, but I like talking about the internal politics of teams the narratives, the relationship between drivers and watching these these stories unfold at hundreds of miles an hour. It's it's incredible. It's why I love this sport. And I actually have a, a series of video essays planned, which I'm looking forward to uh, talking about very shortly. But we're also going to be getting race reviews, roundups, um, and then we're going to talk about driver ratings, which, by the way, 
my driver ratings are final. They are not to be disputed. They are law. I'm only joking, they're not. They're just my opinion, obviously. Um, we're also going to have tier lists because tier lists give you views. And I've had views on other channels with tier lists, so why the hell not stick with it? Um, but yeah, no, I'll do some tier lists as well. Kind of ranking favourite uh, circuits, favourite drivers, driver pairings, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, absolutely, um, we're going to go down that route. So... I said I've got a series planned, and this is it. Here is the thumbnail for the first video, or working thumbnail for the first video. Yes, missing championships, the missing championships. And what do I mean by that? I mean that I'm going to take a season where a driver has had an unbelievable year and still not won the world championship. You'll notice in the thumbnail that episode one will be focusing on Fernando Alonso in 2012. For me, I think still the best single season performance to never win a world championship. I think, and I'll get into that more uh, as as the series develops. But I want to hear from you as well. I have five episodes planned, five. Um, but I want to get suggestions because if you like the series and what I'm doing with it, I will happily take suggestions for maybe a second series of the missing championship side um and i love sort of re uh exploring and researching these things so please do let me know i'll happily take suggestions from all of you on that front well that's it really that's all i have to say for this introductory video um if you want to see me again before my videos start going live, then um, I'll be on the shakedown again. Uh, we, I think we've got an episode planned this week. Uh, follow Cameron's socials for that. As I said, link to him, link to Shez in the description below. Um, and if you want to give me suggestions for videos that you might find interesting, comment below. I, I always read comments. I'll happily engage with you. And if you want to see the content when it first comes out, you know what you have to do. You have to hit subscribe. And you have to hit uh, and get the, put the bell notification on as well. So you never miss any one of these videos when they do drop. I think at time of recording, I already have seven subscribers. So to you, I thank you so much for, for that. It really means a lot to me that there are people that want to hear what I have to say about this, this crazy circus that is Formula One. And I can't wait to get going in 2023. Until next time, guys, my name has been Baxty B. Stay safe, and I shall speak to you all very, very soon, and I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas.